Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan111, and welcome back to Herman Electro. I'm going to play as Natasha again today. It has been about a week since I last played. I was out of town for a number of days, helping my mom out with some stuff. And so hopefully I haven't forgotten too much about how to play this. Okay, that's mud that I slide across, right? Yeah. And currently I have a wire cutter, which is not going to help me solve this. Looks like I probably need a sponge in order to solve that particular puzzle. And let's see, a wire cutter would allow me to get into here. So let's do that. Stand here, cut that. That'll turn off all of these because the power can't flow and will give me a saw, which isn't going to help me because it could help me solve the other puzzle actually. And let's see, this one has a battering ram. Power is flowing here, so if I push this downwards and then left and right, the power would still be flowing here, and so I think I can still do this. If I push, except for I push it down, I can't push it left and right, but then I could push it back up. And if I push it up to this row, that would be enough, right? And then I could cut off the power and it wouldn't matter. So here's my idea. I push that down there. Then I push it up here and now I can just push it left and right. And it doesn't matter if I cut the power there because I will be able to break through all this and get my tools. All right, that was pretty cool actually. I don't know that I've solved that one like that before, although I seen, think I've seen like different variants of that room. And in this room, looks like I could use a wire cutter to open this, perhaps. Also, this guy also can open that in a way that is scary, because it lets him out. And I guess if I broke some glass, that would be another way just to get in here. Um, if he's there, if I start walking in here, yeah, I'll just get myself into trouble, it looks like. And if we stand on this, causes trouble here, but possibly gets him lost in here. All right, let's come back to that one. Since I know I have a sponge, which I can use to solve this mud puzzle over here, that seems like a fair trade. That gave us another gun. All right, well, we could always shoot the zombie. So that is one solution. So I just need to make sure he doesn't stand on the pressure pad that would cause me more trouble. But I could just shoot him and then walk in there. That seems pretty good, actually. So that'll lock him back in. But then I can do that to let him out. Shoot him dead. And then go get my toolbox and open a door. And there's the door. Where does it lead? To another room. Toolboxes here. I want to power this, which means powering this, which means powering just stepping on this. So can I just step on here? Looks like I could just step on this one. So let's go do that right now. I should have looked carefully to see if that was going to do anything bad. Okay, so the problem is, how do I get in here? Obviously, I could use my plank. Or I could use a saw. Or... I think those are the only two options currently. But if I used either of those, I'd be able to step on here, and then I would be able to get two tools. So a saw or a plank, right now I don't have any way to distinguish the two. So I'm going to choose a saw. And do that. Chose the saw rather arbitrarily. And it opens up a bonus room, it looks like. Where I can at least get this. Fleeting memory, very nice. And I could use a plank and the fleeting memory to get the other bonus chest, which is tempting. Oh, 
All right, but let's remember it's there. Two planks basically could get me a bonus chest, and I can always return to this floor at some point in the future. And right, there's a bunch of extra guns in the alcoves that I could go back after later if I need more guns. What do we got here? We got some water bucket. And we got some complicated whatnot. So if I stand here, this guy's going to walk up one and turn this end on. And if I walk down here, uh, this is not on yet because this guy needs to turn this off, I guess, or on. Wait a minute, what's happening here? Power is always flowing here, which means it's never going to flow through here. So I could water bucket this. And then power would not be here. So it would be here. And we'd still have the same problem, it seems like. Unless I did. Well, that wouldn't change anything, though. Hmm. So if I wanted to turn this off, simply turning this off wouldn't do it because there's a knot gate here. And so without power flowing in, it'd be flowing out. Right now the power is flowing in the opposite direction. So I'm not sure how to solve that one just yet, so let's take a look at the other puzzle that we have down here, which involves a number of guards. Uh, he's standing on my tool chest right now in the center. Power can be conducted in various ways. Right now it's kind of good. It looks like I can toggle this a couple of different ways. And I kind of want it down for me to walk on, but I kind of want it up to try to kill him. And how about over here? Yeah, the problem is the things that'll kill him will also uh, get me into trouble as well. So is there a way It looks like if I could just walk in here right now, imagine the guards aren't here. If I could walk in here right now, everything would be great. So if I could convince the guards to walk into this hole without kind of changing the rest of the state of the puzzle, then everything also would be great. So let's try to do that, which seems not possible because they're going to chase me out here. Yeah, I'd have to walk around this way to kind of get them down into this section. But then I'd end up walking them up here, which wouldn't help me. I might be able to trap one of them in here. Could I get just this one out here? Could I kill one of them and trap the other one? Yeah, I don't know that I see a way to do that. It seems that killing one either involves dropping them in this hole, in which case it's going to cost me a plank to get to the goal, Or, well, hold on. That just needs to be off. So 
So if it's on now, is there another way to turn this back off? Well, I guess since the power source is here, yeah, it would involve sawing up or breaking one of these. So I think not with mechanisms. And if this guy walked out here, he powered this and this. Powering this doesn't seem like it would matter. Yeah, so it feels like I spend a resource either way. So suppose I plan to spend a plank. Suppose I drop this guy in a hole. This guy, I think I could convince... No, I wouldn't be able to convince him to get stuck down there now that I think about it. Could I drop him in the same hole? I don't think I could. Yeah, manipulating these guys is still not my strong suit. And... I mean, I could get more, more bullets and kill more guys. I could use my uh, flame to just kind of burn the place down. I could use a saw to cut some stuff up. There's a lot of possibilities here. And it's already just a struggle to figure out which of them seems best? Suppose I killed this guy in here. Is there a way to get in with just one saw, possibly? I still have to deal with this guy. And he's still going to be trouble. Actually, I think I could get him in here. Suppose that I walk him over this a couple of times so that this stays off. I then walk around this way. He tries to chase me over here. I walk around this way. He gets stuck in here. Then I think I could come through here and do that. Yeah, I think that might work. That might work. And then I'd only have to spend the plank. So let's give it a try. Let's kill this guy that way. And then... Oh, I need you to walk on... Mm. I think I can do that here, though. So... Now I need you to walk south. And keep going south. Great. So now I'm going to walk you around here. And around here. And so now I think I can walk you to get stuck over here. Yeah. And then I think you're going to stay stuck over there. Yeah. Because you're still trying to come towards me. And then I can just spend one plank. Okay. That's an acceptable solution for me. So, solve the room. And it did earn us some wire cutters which could be useful for this puzzle, most definitely. Because I could snip this wire, which would turn this on, and then I just have to keep this one on, and remind me to keep this one on. Uh, I'd have to do some walking back and forth, but I think I could do that just fine. But yeah, if I snip this wire, it'll reverse the polarity of all the stuff. And we can just make sure you're standing at the right spot here. I'm pretty sure that would work. So, snip. That's now on, that's on, great. All these things are on, great. You're gonna to toggle that off, so let's have you toggle it back on. And now the problem is you're gonna come here and toggle this back off, which is bad for me. So I need to make sure you turn it on when I'm gonna step there. So that one needs to be off. Yeah, so I think we need to be like this. Except for this guy's going to step over this again, too. So I actually need that one up and this one up. Okay. And this one doesn't matter. Okay. So as I go south, this guy turns this portion on. He turns this portion on. Oh, this is knotted, so this is the wrong thing. Oops. Okay. 
So now this one's on. If I go further south, it stays on. This guy's about to step here and turn this on. And when he does, it's going to put this up so I can turn off safety mode and step down. And everything's going to be fine. And I'm out. OK, great. Did it. In here, we have a very dangerous bomb, which could explode some stuff. We have a pressure plate that's only held down while I'm standing on it. And it looks like I just want to push the bomb to here. Can I push the bomb to here? Yeah, if I just walk all the way around and push it around and push it around, that all looks fine to me. So I think this can be solved without any extra stuff and things. Don't get it anywhere near the power supplies. Do leave room to be standing apart from it. Uh, it's still going to use a plank, I just realized. Is there any way to avoid that? Not that I see, but that's fine. Um, so let's step there. It blows that up. Great. Step back off. And do I just want to go ahead and use the plank? I think yes. Let's not forget that we have fleeting memory. At some point, that might come in very handy. OK, so in this room, the toolbox has to be here because it's the only hidden square that could be hiding it. I would need to remove power from two different directions to undo this, or use a gun and a saw just to go through. To remove power from two directions, Looks like I need multiple planks and different things. This is a pretty tempting place to use a gun and a saw. Because the alternative seems to require more resources, so far as I can tell. So yeah, let's just use a gun and a saw here. I feel good about that. Weaken the wall, saw through it get two saws in return. If I come up with an excess of planks, I'm gonna go back to that bonus room that we saw before. And this has gotta be here, and here's my two saws, and if I push a box into an open pit, I think good things happen. Honestly, I can't remember exactly how those interactions work, but let's imagine that this does what I want box is sitting on the open pit right now. Uh-oh. Crap, I didn't think this through. <sighs> I did not think it through. I can't push it farther to the north. It hasn't uncovered the pit yet. I think now I have to burn down this wall. Because I think I'm stuck underwise. So that's a shame. I didn't think that through. That's my own fault. All right, so I wasted a saw, basically, by burning that wall down. Uh, but I do have fleeting memory of that. I wonder if I can take advantage of that somewhere. Um, wouldn't really help here. And oh my goodness. Two saws, three guns, a bucket, and a sponge. Not going to help there. All right, let's go downstairs and see if we can take advantage of our fleeting memory uh, fire, because that seems like it's likely to be one of the most valuable things to use with a fleeting memory. It could help somewhat here, although we'd still need like a couple of planks. Alternatively, a bucket of water would power this. I, I've got four buckets of water. So yeah, I could power this and power this. And that would power this and this. So yeah, two buckets of water looks like it would solve that. So that's actually really good. How about in here? I could burn things down, but then I'd have a zombie after me. Can I convince the zombie to go in a hole? No. Can I lock the zombie in here? Yes, but then he locks that in. And if I burn things down, then I let him out. 
but if I burn it down when I let him out, I might be able to get him to fall in the hole, and then I would be able to get there. So I think I'm okay with that. So the idea is I stand down here, I burn everything down, it's all contiguous wood, so it all burned down. He walks directly towards me, he falls in the hole, and I get out. Yeah, this is the kind of thing I wanted to take advantage of. So I'm going to stand here, I'm going to burn everything, and then have him walk towards me, and then solve the room. And then I took advantage of my fleeting memory. Okay, great. Um, I could solve something to the north with water buckets, but just taking a look here... These covered pits will fall from beneath me. So I could walk through and go through with three planks, or it'd be nice to power this. But I need one plank to step on this, which would send power through and do this. So yeah, one plank could solve this. Oh, but it would power this door as well. That's a problem. And this door has to be powered in order to power these things. So far as I can tell. So this is actually a very bad room. I don't like it at all. Let's hope that spending my water buckets is going to get me a lot more planks. Okay, so let's very carefully, I've got safety mode enabled. Think about how we get in here. So basically, this is an AND gate. I need this AND this powered. I could put a water bucket here that would power this side. I'd still be able to walk out. I could put a water bucket here that would power this side. I'd still be able to walk out. And then the power would be flowing into here and into here, and then it would put down all these trap doors. So yes, that seems to work just fine. So, water buckets. Water buckets. Great. Okay. So that was all fine. Please give me, like, three planks. Ah, two planks and a saw. That's, mm, that's not bad. And three more rooms that I can do, which is also not bad. Two planks would solve this trivially. And I guess a brick could be thrown onto this, but then it would electrocute me. So I guess I could like wire cut it first. So wire cut and a brick or two planks are the things that come to mind in terms of possible solutions for that room. This one, power flows here and here and here and hmm. Is there anywhere safe that I can throw a brick through a glass? No. Basically all the spots that I could throw a brick through a glass bad things happen. However, I might be able to use a water bucket, presumably to connect to these and then throw a brick through. So I think that might be the solution. Use a water bucket to connect the floor panels with electricity, but I would still need a brick. And finally, I could use a saw to push one of these in here. And then use another saw to push another one in here, and then use another saw to push another one in here. So three saws could solve this room. So I said three saws there. That's pretty expensive. Remind me... Right, that was two planks or brick and a wire cutter, and then remind me what's in the bottom right. And upstairs I also have some bonus stuff that I could get with the planks. And this one, yeah, it doesn't seem like there's any good way to solve this that I can see, because this door is a real problem. So I've got four saws. Do I want to spend three saws, or do I want to spend the water? I don't have a brick yet, so yeah, I think I want to spend my three saws. And I think I reasoned this through correctly. So, saw. Push that in there. Saw. Push that in there. And finally, saw up the box itself. And then push that in there. 
And I get a water bucket and a brick, which is exactly what I need to solve the room to the north. So if I put a water bucket here, power flows through here, and then we'll flow here, and then I can throw a brick through here. So water bucket, connects these, and now I should be able to safely throw the brick. Great. And I get a water bucket and a brick. OK, so we just broke even on that one. And so water bucket, I think, could also put out these. So I think water bucket and a brick could solve this. And I'm going to, uh, except for then the water bucket would get electrified. That's not good. I think. Does it just destroy the wire? I, I don't remember. So I think I have to be safe, even though I want to hold on to the planks and do this. Because I don't remember how a water bucket on top of non-live wires would behave. And I got a saw on a plank, and now sadly it seems like I am going to have to solve this south room. Because it doesn't seem like there's anywhere else to go. Or I could use the two planks upstairs. Let's not forget about that. So 